Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So what I've got on the bench this week is a cast iron leveling foot and the bolt that goes along with it. And no, I didn't buy the world's largest 3D printer, um, but I did get something cool. Let me show you. So this is what that leveling foot is to it. And this is a metalworking lathe. In fact, you can see the missing foot over here. And this is for shaping uh, metal. You guys know I like making things and fixing things. And while I do a ton of work in plastic, there's some things that are just, it's just not appropriate to do them in plastic. So I will, I'll either make them out of metal and I've got the milling machine out there that you guys have seen me use for a couple different projects. Um, or the other tool that you're primarily using is a lathe. Um, sometimes I'll even make things out of wood. But back to the problem, why are we talking about this? Well, I can't get this machine level. You see, we're in my garage and the garage floor pitches in that direction. My garage doors are over there. So you come in in the winter with snow on your car. I'm here in the Northeast. Um, you snow melt off your car and that water has got to get out of the garage. So I think even in parts of the country where there, you don't typically get snow, garages are still pitched outward so that any, any liquid that comes in uh, is going to drain out to your doors versus you know, coming back further into the garage. And this leveling foot is the one that's missing from over there in the corner. Let me grab it. I'll show you how these work. So this slides under here. And then this bolt threads down through this hole and basically lifts the machine up on the pad so that you can level the machine out, getting the, uh, the, any twist out of the cast iron bed up here. Problem is my floor is pitched far enough that even with this bolt all the way in on this end, and the bolts all the way up on that end, I still can't get this machine level. And you know, I know what you're thinking, just go get a longer bolt. I mean, this one's pretty short and we have plenty of room to work here. And I don't know why they didn't supply this with longer bolts, but they didn't. Not a big deal, right? We'll just go to the hardware store and get a longer one, right? That's what I thought. Well, so you know, I measured it first and it is a half inch uh, diameter bolt. Uh, which was a little bit surprising since this machine is made in Taiwan, kind of expected it to be metric. It's not. But then I measured the thread and it's 12 threads per inch, which uh, a half inch coarse thread bolt is usually 13 threads per inch. So I actually had to look it up. This is a British Whitworth thread bolt, which I mean, they haven't been popular in, in this country, in the United States, for a really long time. I don't even know if you can still buy these in a hardware store in, in, uh, in England. Uh, if you are anywhere in the UK, let me know. Can you walk into a hardware store and buy a, a, a Whitworth thread bolt? Let me know. I'm really curious. But here in the United States, we definitely can't. And I looked on Amazon and eBay. There are places that sell them. They're quite pricey and it would take a while to get here. So I'd like to solve this another way. And yes, by the way, I can already hear you guys down in the comments. It's a lathe. I could make longer bolts. You're right, but the lathe isn't even set up yet. And I'd prefer not to get the lathe kind of like half set up, make some custom bolts, and then finish leveling the lathe with those bolts. I'd like to solve it in other ways so that I can get this machine properly set up before I try and use it. Okay, so we're back here over the, dang it. So taking a look at the cast iron feet, they've got this sort of pattern on the bottom here, I guess, and you know, if your floor surface isn't perfectly flat, this makes probably better contact, or I don't know, maybe they just wanted to get cute with the casting. Um, but it doesn't actually make contact all the way out here at the edges. It only seems to make contact here on the inner part of these features. You can actually see the witness marks here on the cast iron from rubbing on the, the concrete of my floor. And that's good because the biggest washer that the hardware store had was this guy. And it's a big washer. I mean, there's my hand for comparison, uh, but it's still not as big as this. So it's going to be hard to keep this guy in place, right? I guess if it was the same exact size as this, when I slid this under, I'd just make sure that, you know, the edges were, were lined up and we'd be good to go. Problem is, if I do that, it's pretty far off, right? And if we're not centered, this guy's even more likely to shift uh, in use. And when that lathe is turned on, there's going to be some oscillations and vibration, particularly if I have something off center in the chuck. And I don't want this guy to just sort of walk out of position. So here's what I'm thinking. No, we're not going to 3D print something and have that support the weight of the lathe. That's clearly not going to work. I mean, it would, I, but I don't think it would be stable enough for us. But what I'm thinking is, what if we could just come up with a way uh, to keep the washer in place? What if we designed something that keyed into the shape here 
and then also keyed into the washer. Let's see what we can do. All right, and here's what I came up with. Pretty simple design. I struggled a little bit at the beginning just to try and figure out how to calculate the angles before I realized that it was divided up in such a fashion that we could just use uh, the polygon tool to hit our corners. Um, then I drew out the basic shape and then brought in the clearance a little bit just so that these pieces will fit entirely inside the beveled in sections on those cast iron feet. It's important to note that there's not gonna be any weight bearing on this whatsoever. I wouldn't wanna do that because even though this PLA would take the weight of that lathe, that lathe weighs about 1,700 pounds in total, uh, divided up in, into six feet, that's actually not that much weight per, per foot. The problem is I think over time, the PLA would creep and shift a little bit and the lathe would be out of level. So this is only to key those pieces together. The thickness of this section here so this height is less than the height of the depth of the, the feature of those three feet on the bottom of the cast iron foot. And the height of this section here is less than the thickness of the washer. So all this is gonna do is just key those two together so that they can't separate, but it's not gonna bear any weight at all. So I think this will work. I might need to tweak the size of these individual sort of um, uh, keyed sections here a little bit just till we get a good fit in those cast iron pieces, but uh, let's print one of these and see how it looks All right came out probably should have changed a uh, black filament, but I don't think we're gonna see this guy underneath there anyway I was just being lazy. So does it fit? Okay, and actually It's pretty good. I mean we might be able to increase the size a little bit it shifts a tiny bit But that's not bad Does it fit on the washer Oh, it's perfect. It actually kind of presses into the washer and stays in place. Now it looks like a poker chip or something. And that keys in. Yeah, that's honestly, that's pretty good. That's not going anywhere. Let's try it. Okay, so we're still not actually contacting the cast iron pad here. What you can't see is around the back, I actually jacked this machine up and set it down on uh, just some, some wood shims to see how high I need to be over here to hit level. And uh, unfortunately, I'm still not actually contacting the pad with the bolt. So I think, I think we could just modify our design uh, to hold two washers. I'll be right back. Okay, while I was at it, I made one for two washers stacked up and I made one for three washers stacked up as well. Hopefully we only need the two. I think three is kind of stretching it. I'm actually a little bit concerned about the shear forces uh, on this guy in the long term, uh, keeping three washers lined up uh, on this PLA. But I think we'll be in pretty good shape with two. So let's see if this works. All right, looks like two washers gets us there with a little bit of adjustability to go, which I'm probably gonna need because uh, I may end up needing uh, either that end or this end a little bit higher so I can also level in this direction as well. But I think that'll get us there. It looks like we've got a um, little over an eighth of an inch adjustability uh, still on this bolt and we are making good contact. So I think that'll work. All right, guys, I think that's all I've got for you this week. Uh, I know it was a pretty easy one to solve. I'm actually really happy with how well that worked. Uh, I actually still have to install the rest of them and get this machine leveled, but uh, you guys probably don't want to watch me do that. Um, but if you're interested in this machine, you're going to see more of it. Not because we're going to do metalworking on this channel. We're not. It's a 3D printing channel. But almost everything I've bought as far as machine tool in the shop or just anything, I find a way for 3D printing to enhance improve or you know otherwise provide accessories for so i can almost guarantee in the coming months we'll probably have some more projects on this guy uh, that are either additional things to go along with it or that fix little problems uh, you know I, I i come across in the use of this machine so if this is your first time on the channel i do a new functional print every single friday it's usually a little bit more complex than like you know a key spacer for a leveling foot so if you're into engineering you're into functional prints check out the other videos on my channel um, there's probably already one up here in the corner that it's telling you to watch. Uh, if you're not interested in that one, hit the videos button, look for something else. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing and you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday.